The short answer is no. I'm not okay. I am physically and emotionally a wreck. Never seems to be enough for what I try to do for people or for myself to help or otherwise. I always come back full circle to where I started. Which is alone. You will never know how hard I try and how I have tried to be better and to improve. people I've met, the people I've lost, the people who I helped come to despise me, the complete disregard for the effort that I put in or for what I tried to do. If I ever could make it clear that it doesn't take a toll, then by God, you're a fucking moron. I don't know. I just don't know how much more psychological torment I can put myself through on others' behalf just because I want to try and be a good person. Because I want to be there. Because I want to help. Because the last person I ever want to help is myself.
so I don't know if I'll ever finish what I've set out to try and achieve. I don't know if I'll finish my books. I don't know if I'll even be able to maintain the friendships I already have. I don't know. I don't know. just can't seem to make anything work. Whether it's friendships, or content, or writings, or my own fucking mental state. I just can't seem to make it work. So I don't know what I want to do. I don't know where I want to go from here. I'm just tired of being alone. Every door I open for people to come in is always inevitably shut in my face after they've gotten what they needed from me. It's, it's thoroughly convinced me that I am incapable of maintaining any kind of meaningful connection with anyone, let alone myself. Because even if, even if, you let me be there and help and support and try to be a good friend. The moment I'm not needed anymore, I'm ostracized and hated because of the flaws that you decided to overlook the moment you met me. I am a human being. I am flawed. I have problems. For fuck's sake, I'm going to be 26 in four months, and I still live in my mother's basement. I don't have a job. So yeah, I have problems. But that shouldn't overshadow the fact that I've actually tried to be a real person 
instead of some clout goblin, instead of some Twitter Andy, instead of some clickbait chick, instead of standing by and pretending to be something that I'm not. For the first time in four years, five years, I've considered pulling this thing back out. Considered. I haven't decided anything. I don't want to hear anyone bitching about that I'm threatening to kill myself. I had my first fucking binge of alcohol for the first time in six years. Just to dull the pain. So I don't know. Today has been a roller coaster. Today has been fucking awful. Today has been probably one of the worst days that I've had in a long time. So I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know. I'm spiraling. This is... This is me spiraling. This is me losing control of my emotions. This is me... This is me... Actually letting myself... Feel something.
and I hate it. I'm This is the same spiral that I descended down five years ago when I lost my best friend. She turned on me, ostracized me, and hated me because I helped her and didn't like how the result was. And then when I was no longer useful, threw me out. And turned everyone she could think of against me. It tore me apart. And it tore everyone that I cared, apart, cared about apart. In a community that I built outside of it. I talked about last week as to the reason why I'm actually writing Mystic Hills now compared to then. I never wanted to alienate myself from, from Mania. I never wanted to be her enemy. I wanted to be her friend. I tried. And she threw me out. She cast me out. The moment she saw that she had a chance. The moment that I had a problem with someone else that she was friends with. And instead of talking it out, she threw me out. Because she could. And claims she's the victim... Because she has the higher channel numbers, and because she th can get the sympathy points. And I'm tired of it. I don't care anymore. And I hope she's happy. I hope she's happy with her dying channel. I hope she's happy with her falling views. I hope she's happy with all the things that she's failed to try to do. Because all that she has done is mutually assured our own destruction. For her, it was financially. And for me, it's emotionally. And I highly doubt I'll be opening up to anyone else ever again. Because God knows I can't keep a connection with anyone for more than a week at a time or a month at a time without them all of a sudden suddenly having a problem out of nowhere with something that I am as an individual.
It's been a fucking crazy day. I I don't even know what I'm doing. Why why did I turn on the camera? Am I even gonna fucking upload this? Who the hell knows? And if I do, who gives a shit? No one's going to watch it anyway. I... threw away any attempt at making my own life better in the pursuit of trying to help other people. And and this is the result. I, I would hope you... I hope you would like to know this is the result you don't become a better person when you try and help other people you don't because the moment anyone gets anything out of you They throw you away. Because nobody cares about anyone outside of themselves. And anyone claiming otherwise either has an agenda or is only it is only saying so out of their own self interest. We, we live in such a delusional world where we think that being kind to other people is actually going to make people in general better. But people are cruel, people are not kind, and people only care about themselves. It doesn't matter what race you are, it doesn't matter what gender you are what sex you are, where you live in the world, the only person you care about is yourself. 